the window of opportunity for very isolated strong to severe storms will be until 10 o'clock tonight. You can see our fourplex here, all part of Wade's RV weather camera network and the Grand Lake area has just seen some widely scattered showers over the past several minutes. That activity is now to the south of Grand Lake and Grove. Now just to the west of McAllister, a couple of counties over, we're going to be watching this cell closely over the next several minutes. That could turn severe as it approaches Pittsburgh County, but this is all non severe, just widely scattered activity right now, especially to the north of Interstate 40. Let's zoom down a little bit tighter and some moderate showers there between Tahlequah and Kansas at this time. We desperately need a whole lot more in the way of rain, especially to the north and northwest of Tulsa. This is the latest drought monitor situation issued a couple of days ago. So Tulsa County is doing OK right now, but to the north, especially around Bartlesville, Washington County, completely in severe drought right now and a portion there of southeastern Osage County, but it gets red there, especially to the west of Bartlesville. That is exceptional drought at this time, but it's looking OK, especially our southern zones, especially around Muskogee, Tahlequah, for example, down towards Wilberton and McAllister, all OK right now. 57 degrees is the current temperature. Today we maxed out at 61 degrees. A lot of that cloud cover today really holding down that high temperature. North northeasterly winds now between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. McAllister at 67 degrees, 60 in Bristow and 60 62 in OKC. Now on future track radar in the cloud cover over the next couple of hours. Again, the risk of severe weather that severe weather window is going to be until 10 o'clock tonight. So you can see here along the cold front in advance of the cold front in this zone here and especially off towards the south of Interstate 40. We could see some strong to severe storms carrying with them a large hail threat. The secondary threat tonight is going to be maybe an isolated tornado, but this quickly gets on out of here, especially after 10 o'clock tonight. Overnight, the cloud cover is going to stick around. Maybe a few isolated showers. That's about it. A very quiet overnight for us through tomorrow on your Sunday. The cloud cover is going to be sticking around. Maybe a few sprinkles trying to come in during the afternoon and really holding down those high temperatures into the 50s. Overnight tonight, we're down into the upper 30s. Maybe a few isolated showers for Tulsa, but the chance is pretty low between about 10 and 15 percent at this time. The winds becoming northerly on the backside of that cold front, gusting upwards of around 30 miles per hour. Overnight lows from the 30s to the low to the mid 40s. It's going to be a little bit warmer down towards the south here, including Poto and McAllister right at 44. Then tomorrow at 53 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and north northeasterly winds not gusting much sustained between about 10 and 15 and check out those highs from the 50s to close to 60 degrees, especially south of Interstate 40. On your latest 10 day forecast, more sunshine comes in. Finally, the sun is back there on Monday, 50 degrees up to 57 on Tuesday, but starting out below freezing at 29. Helping to plan your day tomorrow, cool and cloudy at 8, right around 40 degrees and 47 for the brunch hour. And your latest extended forecast here on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, gusty conditions, an increasing chance of showers and storms on Thursday. We're into the 60s there for two days. Another cold front comes in by St. Patrick's Day. We're down into the upper 40s, mostly sunny skies and 40s in store next weekend.